so finally it's hanuman jayanti today and many people were requesting me to make a video on hanuman ji so finally catering to your requests here it is so i wish i could put the entire ramayan in this video ramayan or the life of hanuman ji in this video but that's not possible so what i will do today is i will focus on one quality which hanuman ji has which many other of the great devotees of lord ram also they they also possess this in the ramayan but hanuman ji is extraordinary in demonstrating this quality and what is that quality that is one quality which if we will try to imbibe in our life i can ensure you 90% of your problems will be solved 90% of your anxiety of the future they will be solved in fact they will vanish of course it's easier said than done but we need to study the lives of these great personalities these great souls by which we can understand and at least take steps in that direction and what is that one quality that quality is he always keeps his profile very low so why do i say that and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding your life any area then you could go down to my description section okay to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him just like hanuman ji had ripped open his chest when he was asked that where is ram and sita i cannot see them all right so what hanuman ji demonstrates is it's very phenomenal let's go to the ramayan to one of these stories somebody tells the vanar sena that i have seen that ravan has kidnapped sita and taken her towards the lanka which is you know 100 yojanas from that place so if you know who was the one who said that then please write it in the comments let me see how many of you are <laughs> aware of the ramayan yes so now when he came to know then the group of the monkeys yes the vanaras headed by angat and jambavan and hanuman ji of course these three were the leaders of that group which went towards the southern, southern direction so then they were thinking who is the one who will go and jump or who will fly or who is the one who should make an attempt to uh, see where mother sita is and then all the different monkeys they were giving they were presenting results of their strength they were just giving overview of how much they could jump so for example somebody said i can jump uh, 20 yojanas i can jump 50 yojanas somebody said i can jump 50 uh, somebody said i can jump 60 70 80 somebody said i can jump 90 then angat said that i can jump 100 yojanas but the problem is i cannot come back that's the problem and then uh, the great jambavan he was also there he was he was so extraordinary and he was they say that he was the most powerful man on earth they say like that then jambavan said when vaman dev lord vishnu's incarnation had appeared in satya yuga remember ramayan is a story of treta yuga all right and uh, treta actually means three but due to some reason in this uh manvantara the dwapar yuga and treta yuga exchanges the position okay so dwa is two so dwapar yuga generally comes after satya yuga but in this manvantara the yugas get exchanged uh, anyways that's a story of lo lot of detail either it is in this manvantara or it's in a kalpa which is a day of brahma but the point is we will discuss about it some other time but the point is that the the ramayan is from uh, treta yuga and the vamandev pastime was from satyuga so when jambavan he 
He was Jambavan was born when Lord Brahma was yawning. He is directly the son of Brahma. Okay, so that is why he is referred to as Brahma Putra always. So when Vamandev had appeared, then Jambavan he said I circumambulated him twenty one times. Can you believe it? When Vamandev had expanded his you know body to towards the top of the universe and then jambavan said i could do that within a moment i circumambulated him 21 times like this i was so powerful then because i was young that time but now i am old i cannot <laughs> i cannot jump that's what jambavan said and everybody was giving uh, the statistics that oh maybe he can do he can do he can do he can do he can do. But there was one person who was silent, who was not speaking anything. And who was that? Yes, you are right. He was Hanumanji. He was Hanuman was just he was just silent. <laughs> he was just letting everybody speak. And then Jambavan finally saw that Hanuman is not speaking anything. And then Jambavan went to Hanuman and said that, My dear Hanuman, what about you? <laughs> and then Jambavan said that, Hanuman, for you, what to speak of these hundred yojanas? This is nothing actually in front of you. <laughs> you can go round and round and round and you can roam the entire universe and you could still be here. Because Hanumanji was cursed in his childhood that uh, because he used to play pranks on the rishis and the sages. Uh, he used to uh, sometimes, you know, play around with their stuff. So then, uh, because he was very powerful, of course. And then some of the rishis, they cursed him that you will forget all your powers, all your divine powers. And when the right time comes, somebody will remind you of them. All right, so now was the right time when Jambaban thought that now is the time I must remind him of his powers. And then Jambaban said, Oh, great soul, remember those, you know, just, just remember that you have this power, you have that power for you, this is nothing. And Jambaban uh, becomes a Shiksha Guru of Hanumanji because that's the duty of a Guru. He the Guru's most important duty is that he reminds us of God and he reminds us of our relationship with God which the soul has forgotten in this material world and because of which the soul is suffering time and again from different bodies, you know, taking birth in a cat's body, dog's body, you know, elephant's body, sometimes in a man's body, in a woman's body. Okay, so now what happened? When Hanumanji heard about from, from Jambavan about himself, then suddenly he remembered all his powers, all his strength. And then he took a leap and he jumped off by saying, Jai Shri Ram. And then everybody was spellbound and they were like, <laughs> we were discussing 80 yojanas, 90 yojanas and this person has just leapt from here. And Everybody was spellbound. They were astonished to see this might of Hanumanji. And they, they, they did not expect this because Hanumanji was behaving like just another uh, monkey soldier, another Vanara in the army. So they, they didn't know that he was so powerful. Of course, he was definitely powerful without a doubt. But this level of pro prowess he did not exhibit before. And then we all know the story. Uh, finally, when he uh, found Mother Sita and then when he came back, then he went and gave this news to Lord Ram. Of course, Lord Ram came to know before only from the uh, other, other monkeys. But when everybody asked him, now can you believe it? Just imagine that now Lord Ram is Vishnu himself, of course. So imagine, you know, God, Lord Vishnu is coming and there's something which he wants so desperately. <laughs> As a part of his Leela, of course, which he can do everything himself. But suppose he behaves in a way that, you know, okay, I need something very desperately. And suppose you are the one who brings it, 
who gives the news that yes the thing that you want is there imagine the level of praise that you will be subjected to entire universe for all eternity for all time to come will be praising you they will be glorifying you like anything now imagine if that happens to you how will you feel how many updates will you post in facebook regarding this yes status anxiety these days my god it's rampant there are people who message me that you know can you please tell me some time periods when i can upload photos or upload pics in instagram you know on facebook or all these social media apps that i can get the maximum likes maximum views maximum shares yes tweets in twitter what will people think of me how many people will validate that i am a great soul yes that is what everybody is trying to do then hanuman ji when he came and then everybody all of them were asking him that yes yes is oh my god you are so great please tell us about this please tell us please tell us and hanuman ji always kept a very low profile although he achieved such a stupendous task of finding sita devi which nobody could have done except him of course he did not boast about it he did not say you know there you see i am the one who did it you bloody fools you all other monkeys are useless you're good for nothing or that's that's another extreme but how people do it these days they will say uh, generally people behave like this these days they will say yeah yeah you know it was difficult but somehow i did it you know <laughs> like there was one person um he cracked uh, like in india as you know there's a exam for mba or this you know pg da or i don't know what's the form for getting into iims indian institutes of management um pg diploma as they say so the name is cat cat so there was one person i know he had cracked cat in some 3 months he used to say that and then uh, he put a status update in facebook you know just 3 months and cat is yours <laughs> so everybody likes to boast how quickly you achieve things how fast how efficient how powerful you are everybody likes to boast i mean you got an uh, admission to do mba or diploma in i am ahmedabad or i am bangalore that's perfectly fine you can celebrate that but what is the why do you need to say that you did it in 3 months yes because maybe other people needed 6 months 1 year 2 years yes but you were so great that you did it in 3 months right so what will this person do in his future every achievement he will put a tag line 2 months 1 month 10 days 15 days promotion 1 year <laughs> this is status anxiety what will people think of me will people acknowledge that i am a great personality and these these uh, these these are like insects as they say puja labha pratishtha sukare na vishtha it is said desire for profit distinction and adoration is like the stool of a boar because the boar eats stool and then imagine when he passes stool it's like that so the point is not that you do not celebrate but when we boast about our achievements in a way uh, it's called as you know humble bragging these days yeah you know by god's grace i did it but the point here is people try to say that you know oh they did it ultimately so now hanuman ji when everybody asked the hanuman ji said uh, no it was like uh, i just jumped and you know i just found her and i burned the lanka and i came back now can you believe it he burned the entire swarn lanka if you read the ramayana you will know how dangerous it was it is said in lanka because ravan was a demon he was rakshas even a insect could not enter lanka without ravan's permission and even a insect who is inside lanka could not go out of lanka without his permission 
in that situation he went he found sita devi he killed ravana's son he killed so many thousands of his soldiers the, the rakshasas and then he burned the entire lanka my god and he also found mother sita that was the biggest task uh, that was the target and then he came back successfully <laughs> i mean what other level of success can you have you know you, your job was to find mother sita but you not only found her you went and you ripped the entire army of the enemy and you burned the entire city my god i mean who can be more successful than hanuman ji in this regard but he kept his profile low he did not boast he did not pretend that yes and yes hanuman ji's greatest qualities whatever he achieves he always says it is by the grace of lord ram that i have achieved that is why before and during and after completion of any activity either he is successful or not i don't know if he is unsuccessful in any activity but irrespective of the outcome of the activity he always keeps saying jai shri ram before when he jumped he was saying jai shri ram when he was jumping he said jai shri ram when he reached back he said jai shri ram so his great his great test quality is that he always gives the credit to his gurus and to god yes surya dev the sun god is his guru of course so whenever you find in the ramayana that he has achieved something he will always give the credit to god he will never take credit even when he has achieved such herculean tasks which nobody ever 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 can even dream to <laughs> achieve and he was so powerful he was the most powerful warrior in the entire ramayana of course i mean i mean if you take the monkeys only he was more powerful he was millions of times more powerful than sugriv but he was still subordinate to sugriv as a servant he did not tell sugriv hey you get out i will sit in the throne now <laughs> if he would have done that then sugriv would have not been able to challenge him because roman is he is his power is beyond anybody and he was empowered by all the demigods including brahma indra chandra surya varuna vayu yamaraj so many everybody had blessed him with divine weapons with so many powers you know that is why in hanuman chalisa they say na ashta siddhi nav nidhi ke data so he was such an extraordinary personality but always giving the credit to god because krishna says in the gita you are not the doer <laughs> yes so if we can just simply imbibe this one small lesson from hanuman ji's life that when we have some success in our life when we have some achievement instead of now we can celebrate we can post an update in facebook that's fine <laughs> that's what life is you know to celebrate with your friends and family members and people that that's perfectly fine but instead of taking all the credit now we may not be able to behave like hanuman ji you know that could be artificial that you know oh, everything is because of god no, i have nothing i have no role to play in it but at least if we can give uh, our gurus and god the due credit then 90% not 90 99% of the problems of our life will be solved because then you will not be wondering yes that okay like somebody was telling me that his life goal is one of the goals before he turns 30 is that he must take a mercedes benz and then i asked why do you have that life goal then he said no no most of my friends have taken a mercedes benz you know so now if i do not take what will people think of me people will think i am a loser people will say i am a fool i do not have a mercedes benz oh my god my reputation will be ruined right do you think people have so much time to keep thinking about you <laughs> if you want to know how much people think about you just think how much you think about others yes 
Nobody thinks about anybody. Everybody thinks about themselves. So if they are thinking of themselves, who is thinking of you? Nobody. Maybe your wife or maybe your husband to some extent. <laughs> All right. So that is one lesson. Get rid of status anxiety. Who has a Mercedes? Who has a BMW? Who has a Rolls Royce? Who has a 3 BHK? Who has a plot in which area? Yes. How does my husband or my wife look? How much does my husband or my wife earns? How much is the status of my father, my mother or my sister, my brother? Yes. Rather than that, if we could just say Jai Shri Ram and give all the credit to him, then life will be much simpler. Life will be easier. Life will be peaceful. Life will be happy. Life will be divine. All right. Because that is what Hanumanji demonstrates he was the most happiest person in the entire Rama and there is nobody like him because he always kept his profile low. So that is the life changing lesson from Hanumanji's life that always keep your profile low because then if you do not then your situation will be like Duryodhan. <laughs> yes we all know what happened to him. So that is what Hanumanji demonstrates and once again wish all of you a very very Hanuma, happy Hanuman Jayanti. May Hanumanji shower all of his blessings unto you and me <laughs> and uh, help us more in going close towards Lord Ram in some way or the other in whichever capacity we can. Alright so that is all I wanted to say about Hanumanji and Hanuman Jayanti and of course we can go on for eternity speaking about Hanumanji's glories and about his greatness but time will fall short okay some other day there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me you could go down to my description section okay God is there with you no no not God Lord Ram is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right namaste thank you very much